Hello everyone, welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. Today we're going to talk about what happens if we don't have matching sex drives. And I'm going to introduce our new product called Bang. These sets are for couples. One has the vibrating panties with the remote control. One has the vibrating cock ring. Both of them have a bang me blindfold. And guess what? They both come with 28 speed bullets. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker, and I am your host. And today we're going to be talking about frequency. We're going to talk about sex drives. We're going to talk about what happens if our sex drives do not match. What happens? What should I do? We're going to address all of that today. And I'm also going to introduce our new line. Um, they came out with the, the big, um, the big, huge bullets, and it was from a company called Bang. So Bang has also come out with um, some sets for couples, and we will be carrying them for Valentine's Day this year at the PPG store. So we are going to get off into this live. I hope everybody is super excited because I am. I know this time is a little earlier than what I normally go live, but um, I decided to get on up and get, get this day going because it's Friday, it's early, and I want to get to you before you start moving around. So let's talk about it. All right. Most times in a relationship, when we're dealing with people, we have an understanding that they will have a sex drive, just like we will have a sex drive. Normally in the dating process for most people, most people in the dating process, I'm not talking about when you have actually gotten into a relationship or you have become exclusive. I'm talking about during the dating process. During the dating process, um, things tend to get really heated, okay? And in the dating process, a lot of times it is the honeymoon stage. And I refer to it as the honeymoon stage because this happens a lot of times right when people get married too. Um, they tend to have a whole lot of sex. When I say a whole lot of sex, it's like meet me here, there, anywhere, wherever you want to do it, I'm let's do it. And it appears that you have a really high sex drive. Life happens. Now you didn't uh, commit it, y'all in a relationship. Now y'all living together, moving forward. Now you married. Life is happening. You you at your job. You getting up early in the morning. Uh, your your mornings are early. Now we've introduced children to the situation. So now children are taking up your time. Now your job has become more demanding. Now your children want to be a part of extracurricular activities. But your man still has a high sex drive. In other words, life is changing for both of you all. But for you, all of your energy is going to all of these other places. And for him, he still has all of this energy. Okay? A lot of people laugh at me when I talk about planning sex. When you decide that you're going to be in a committed relationship, especially with someone who you know has a very high sex drive. See, we know around about how many times we need to empty that nut sack. We know, okay, if I'm only giving it up one time a week, I know that I ain't going to get it. But sometimes that's, that's what happens in your sex life. You go from three and four times a week, then you dropping down to two times a week. And then all of a sudden he, you're only getting it one time a week, which is equivalent to about four times a month, which is equivalent to about 52 times a year. You see that that's, those are drastic numbers. So I recommend, and if you, if you're a person that subscribed to my email and you get my blogs, you should have read the blog about playing sex. Have a conversation. Communication is everything when you're in a relationship and you say, look, baby, I know 
I got to meet you halfway when it comes down to the bedroom. Because I know that I have not been able to keep up. Because if you ask a man how often they want to have sex and be like, well, baby, how many times a week do you feel like we should be having sex? Most men are going to respond to you every day. And I'm going to tell you why. Because when men have sex, it's from a goal-oriented perspective. But when women have sex, it's from a pleasure um, perspective. So we are we're looking at this completely different. Men' goal is to bust the nut, relieve stress, go to sleep, go on about their business. Women's perspective is pleasure. We want to go in and knowing that we're going to be satisfied. And a lot of times, the whole idea of a person just on top of us doing their business and we feeling like we're not getting anything out of it is a turnoff all in itself. So from my 10 plus years, and I'm going to say what, 12, 13 plus years of being in this industry, Women who know they about to get their walls banged loose and women who know that he about to tear that ass up. Oh, he can get it anytime he want it because you know that he's in it to please you. You know the end result is orgasms. You know the end result is pleasure. But when you dealing with somebody who is goal oriented and they're only concerned about busting a nut, relieving stress, you like, what am I, why, why I want to do that? Like, why, why is that going to interest me? It's not going to interest you. So with that being said, when you have the conversation and you say, baby, look, let's be realistic. I know that I cannot handle sex every day. My lifestyle just won't allow it. My body won't allow it. But I do want to make sure that I'm able to meet you halfway. This is what compromise comes in. How many times do you feel like uh, is a must? Let, let's put something in place. I have couples that I'm working with, with sex coaching. And they have agreed upon, some have agreed upon two times a week. And I say, okay, if you're two times a week, if you got two times out the week that y'all going to agree to have sex, then let's say Sundays and Wednesdays are your days for sex. Sundays and Wednesdays. Guess what? You know what you have on the agenda for Sundays and Wednesdays. You know to make sure that your days are a little light on those days. You know that both of you all have something that you're looking forward to. And if you know that Sundays and Wednesdays are your days, then he also knows that Sunday and Wednesdays are the days. So he's going to do certain things to kind of help you to unwind. Whether it is, you know, okay, I'm about to start rubbing on her feet, just helping her get relaxed. Or I'm going to get the kids settled a little early and make sure that they're taken care of. In other words, he's a part of the process too. And it's not all falling on you. My couples who say, okay, well, Sharonda, our days are going to be three times a week. Okay, three times a week. Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays are your days. Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Those are your three days out the week that you both know you're getting some. Also, when it's planned, then you can say, okay, well, this time when we do it, we're going to get a little, um, a little scratch off from the PPG store, a little $2 scratch off, and... Each scratch off, if you, and I should have had them. I didn't know that I was going to talk about the scratch offs. But the scratch offs have six different little scratch off stickers. And you don't scratch them all off at the same time. You get one scratch off and you let them scratch it off, or you scratch it off. And whatever it tells you to do, then that's, but guess what it does? It creates anticipation. It, inc it, it, it creates the whole idea of, you know, we're about to turn up a notch. We're about to have fun with it. And you don't have to wait until you're having sex to actually do the scratch off. You can do the scratch off early that day. And y'all can tease each other and play with each other throughout the day about what you know is going to happen later on. Suppose the scratch off says, you know, start off with sex in the shower. You know what's about to happen. You know, like, I'm just trying to 
make it fun again for you all. Because some people think that scheduling sex is very lame. But when you have a couple who is not having sex often, they will much rather some planned scheduled sex than no sex at all. Okay? I like planned sex because I like, I'm, I'm a planner at heart. I'm a Virgo. And if you know anything about Virgos, we will plan your whole damn life away. We going to have it packed down to the T. We know we got, we going to have a playlist put together. Oh yeah. I got my playlist put together. I already know what I'm wearing. I already know what the trick I'm bringing to the bedroom. I know if I'm going to use a candle this time. I know if we're going to have blindfold sex. If you don't know what that is, go look uh, up the YouTube video, blindfold sex. I know if we're going to have blindfold sex. I know if I'm going to do a tantric aspect of it with taste, where I'm going to be feeding him something sensual. If he's going to be eating something out of my mouth like a strawberry. I know this ahead of time because I have planned it out. It's nothing wrong. now, And this is the thing. Just because you have these dates set to make sure that you're having sex on a frequent schedule, make, to make sure it's being uh, done frequently, that has nothing to do with your spontaneous sex life, meaning that you can still have sex spontaneously. That means that if you all are on a schedule of two days out the week and, you, and your days are Sundays and Wednesdays, well, shit, y'all might go on a date night on Friday and decide, shit, let's get it popping. That's spontaneous sex. It has nothing to do with your scheduled dates. That means he just got a little extra that week. That's all it means. But it is very important, extremely important, that if you are dealing with somebody with a high sex drive, that you are coming up with ways to make it happen. Now, the plan of sex is just one way. Just one way. The next thing that you can do to make sure that sex is happening is invest in sex aids, like pocket pussies. Suppose it's the man who does not have a high sex drive and this woman has a sex drive. You want to uh, invest in something for her like a wall banger, something that she could put up against the wall. It's just a dildo with a suction cup on it that she could put up against the wall. She could back up to it. She could fuck herself to be able to relieve herself. In other words, now we have to come up with, if, okay, if planned sex ain't going to work and I physically can't handle everything that you bring into the table, then now I have to open up the door to a possibility of toys coming into the bedroom so that the other person can relieve themselves, okay? You got your pocket pussy. You got your wall bangers. You got your bullets. You got your different kind of sleeves that you can use. You have all of these different things that you can bring. You can even invest in a half of a woman. You know, like a, a real, a, um, a life form masturbator. If that's what you into. Your third option is open the marriage up. In other words, you have an understanding that I know that you have certain needs sexually, so that means that you're not getting into committed emotional relationships, but I'm going to be okay with you participating in sexual relationships because I can't meet the demand. See, in a business, when you have a demand for something and you have another business, that can't meet the demand. That means that I have to start going to outsource what I need from other places. Because the demand has to be met. Here we go with this. Either you're going to shit or get up off the pot. Either you're going to keep up with these men. Or either you're going to keep up with these women. Or you're going to open up the door to allow somebody else to do what you can't do. It's, it sounds very harsh but the thing is if you don't agree to it it's going to happen anyway so do you want to be on the end of knowing and agreeing or do you want to be on the end of betrayal and infidelity because if you cannot meet the demand of the business they're going to go elsewhere to do business that's the reality of what we're dealing with 
Is it fair? No. That's why you got to get people who you're compatible with. That's why you got to commit to people who, who you're compatible with. If you got a low sex drive, go find you somebody with a low sex drive. Because if you like the person with a high sex drive, because you love everything they do, and you love the way they fuck you, and you love the way they take care of you, and you love all of the stuff that they do, but the problem is you can't keep up, you're going to be hurt in the end. Because they are going to get that itch scratched somewhere else. Either we're going to talk real life or we're going to talk fairy tale. If you want to talk fairy tale, I'll tell you, sweetheart, he should be okay with you only wanting to screw him one time every two weeks because you have children. And sweetheart, he should be okay with you not meeting demand because you have to work and you have all of these other things going on. And he should be understanding. That is a fucking lie. He's not going to be understanding. She is not going to be understanding. And she's going to go elsewhere. He's going to go elsewhere. That is the truth. So either you're going to shit or get up off the pot. If you don't naturally have a high sex drive, why do you think these companies are coming out with all of this shit for women? They coming out with all of this shit for women. I... All of this, this one company, they got three ways you can take it. You don't like the way shit tastes. You, you don't like how nothing tastes, get the pill. If you want to put it in a drink and mix it, get the juice. If you want to put it in some coffee or some tea, get the honey. In other words, there's no excuse because we can meet you where you at. Oh, you can't swallow a pill? We got two other forms that you can get. Oh, you don't like the way these two other forms taste? You got the pill that you can get. Companies are realizing that women are not keeping up in the bedroom when it comes down to sex drive. They understand that women are hormonal, got low libido, you suffer from all kinds of shit, don't have energy. This shit here, the liquid forms of these enhancers, they have me not being able to sleep. Like in other words, I'm up. When I took this honey the other day, I woke up and I had so much energy. Not only did I have energy for sex, but I have a vacuum and my vacuum have all kind of attachments to it. And I promise you that morning I used every attachment that came with my vacuum. And I was into creases and crevices, getting shit that I hadn't gotten in a while is what I'm letting you know. In other words, it gives you the energy. See, sex is mental first. So if I go in and mentally with the will to want to have sex, with the will to want to please my husband, with the will to want to do it, then eventually my body will catch up with my mind. The desire will come. I know so many times where I have just not mentally just been in the mood because I might have had a lot going on. Right? I'm going to use this for an example. When my mom passed. I went into a, a really deep depression, but I still had an obligation as a wife. And a lot of people say, oh, well, he should have been understanding because you had lost your mama. And I don't care if it was six months after you lost your mama and you wasn't in the mood. He should have been understanding. Come on, we're going to talk real life for what? Who about to wait six months to get some pussy? Who about to wait three months to get some pussy? Who about to do that? I understand that I'm dealing with another human being that's not about to wait. Not saying that they're going to go elsewhere, but it's going to create other issues in the relationship. So what happens is mentally, I might not be on board mentally, meaning that it ain't the thought didn't come to my mind first. It came to his mind first. But once the ball got rolling, I was ready to play ball. See, once the car got warmed up, I was ready to drive. So in other words, if you just have the will to want to do, then it will happen. But if you go in it and you like, we ain't fucking. And when I say no, it's no. And don't ask me no more. And don't touch me and don't rub on me. And don't try to even, even create no desire in me. Don't even try to create desire because it's a hard no. Then it ain't going to never happen. It's just not. So at the end of the day, you got to pick your poison. You got to pick what you're going to do. You got to pick. 
Either you're going to be a team player or you're going to be selfish and you're going to be thinking about your own self. Sex is not that important to everybody, and I get that. And if it's not important to you like that, make sure that you link up with somebody that is not important to them either. It's not fair for you to remove that something so important from a relationship. Because if you look at Maslow, hierarchy of needs, sex is right down there with food and water, meaning pleasure. It's right down there with food and water. And I have a lot of people who like to argue, well, Maslow's hierarchy of needs um, applies to children too. And children not having sex, but children do require a certain level of affection. They do require a certain level of connection and all of that kind of stuff like this. So when they have sex down there, all of those different things come along with sex, whether it be the intimacy, the connection, the affection, and all of this other type of stuff. Okay. So, if you have a low sex drive, ladies, come get you some enhancers. Men, if you have a low sex drive, we have liquid honey and pills for you too. Everything is on the website, right down at the bottom, www.dppgstore.com. And if you feel like I'm talking good and this done bless you, my cash app down there too. It's 2021. Yes, I'm putting my cash app on everything because what I understand is I love all of the feedback. You know what I'm saying? I do. I love the feedback. It keeps me going. It does. But when I hear that cha-ching on that cash app, that's a whole nother keep me going. That's, a, that's on a whole nother level. Some people ask me about, oh, do you have any techniques for, for beating me? Now, let's register for the fantastic fellatio oral sex class. Not only do I teach you how to suck dick, I teach you the anatomy of the dick. I teach you how to take care of the dick. I teach you how to take care of the dick with your mouth and with your hands and with your pussy all in the oral sex class and it is an oral sex class but we touch on everything in the oral sex class following the oral sex class immediately following oral sex class will be the riding class and then will be the wife school so um these lives are about to go back to more product based lives um because i could give out knowledge for my wife's school and all of this kind of stuff. But, you know, at the end of the day, I, I tell people all the time, you got people that's therapists and counselors and all of this stuff. And a lot of people don't want to go because they don't want to pay. But, you know, sometimes your insurance pays. Sometimes you got to pay out your pocket. But if it's something that's going to bless your, your life, then sometimes you got to be willing to invest in yourself. And with this wife's school, sometimes you have to be willing to invest. So I will still be dropping nuggets here and there. But take some of the things that I've already taught about the communication. Take some of the things that I've already taught about affirming your partner. Take some of the things that I'm already teaching that I was teaching last night. Sometimes you got to come, you got to be open to bringing in additional help. Meaning, you know, if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, hire someone to come in every other week to clean. Take clothes to the dry cleaners if you don't have time to iron. Contact a chef about doing some type of meal preps. Or if you don't want to go through a chef, go to your local grocery store. They have all types of stuff that's already prepared ahead of time. And all you have to do is just kind of run it through your oven. You know, I'm going to put that right there so I don't keep falling. Um, do things to make things more convenient for yourself. If you're not strong with teaching and all of that, hire a tutor. I had a tutor, uh, Miss, Mrs. Um, her name was Mrs. Wells. Lady from New Orleans, I went through a tutoring company online, just Google tutors in Baton Rouge, found a tutor, told her what my issues were with my daughter, and I met with her. She was certified, retired school teacher. I used to uh, take Taylor to the library. She would have a room reserved, and she would help Taylor, and that would help me out greatly. And while Taylor was at tutoring, a lot of times I would do some of my little ripping and running, like going to like the dollar store here, there, the other to pick up on stuff while Taylor was at tutoring, go pick Taylor up from tutoring. And that was something that I didn't have to do. It took something off my plate. Men hire people to come do the yards all the time. Why you can't hire somebody to come in and help clean? Why you can't hire somebody to come in and just do laundry if it's if that's gonna help uh, washing and folding clothes? They have people that do these services. But we have to be willing to invest. We're not in the home all day, every day. So 
I'm trying to teach you how to free yourself up so that you have time for your marriage. Because right now, between parenting, between being a domestic in your home, between going out to work every day, you don't have time to be a wife. A lot of women don't have time because they, they are pulled so many different directions. I understand that every woman is not like me who works for themselves, who have, who can schedule time for this, this, that, the other. My life is one big schedule. It's one big schedule. That's it. Okay. All right. So let's talk about these bang me kits. This one, okay, 28 speed vibrator. That's what comes in here. This vibrator is 28 speeds. Comes with a cock ring. Comes with a finger vibe. Everything is silicone and rechargeable. And it comes with um, a blindfold that says bang me, which I really like. I really, really like that. Um, and everything is remote control. It's op remote control operated. So you will be seeing these. They've been here for a couple of weeks, but you'll see us once we start transitioning out the Give Me the Blues, when all of the blue stuff gets cleared out, then we'll start setting up our end caps for Valentine's Day. This one is a 28-speed vibrator with vibrating panties. Remote control, rechargeable. Yes, one size fits most waterproof. Um, I'm just making sure I'm reading everything on here. Mm, I want to see the range. Vibrator has a 25 foot range. Now, my other vibrators have 50 feet range. So make sure that when you purchasing, you're reading what you're buying. This one has a 25 feet range, but it's 28 speeds. Where my other one is 10 speeds and it has 50 feet range. Okay. Which 25 feet is more than good enough, especially when you're at the restaurant. Um, and they y'all right across the, the table from each other. I'm just making sure. And these panties top on the side as well. Just so that you know. 28 vibrating patterns. I'm just making sure I'm, I'm getting everything on there. And rechargeable. Okay. Of course, we do have the female honey in stock. This has been our bestseller this week. We do have the liquid pink pussycat in stock. And we do have the pills in stock. So yes, we have all three in stock, in store and online, okay? I hope you all enjoyed this live. Um, having sex frequently is very important. It is vital to any relationship. For people who tell you that it's not that important, I just tell you to get somebody to match your sex drive. If sex is non-existent in your house, that's fine. If it works out like that, if, if it's good for you that way, that is great, but um, it doesn't work like that for people like me. I'm highly sexual. You know, I'm always rubbing and touching and feeling and grabbing. That's just what I do, okay? Oh, and I want to tell you this. Um, Brahmin had another sale. So, um, totally you all sent $640, which was awesome. It was greatly appreciated, even though we have 6,000 people in the group. And I know everybody didn't send a two dollars, and it was only two dollars. <laughs> but um, my cash app is dollar sign PPG store. If you did not send the two dollars, feel free to send it because it is always needed. But I was able to order a second bag because they had a big sale and they uh, were half off, so I was able to get another big bag for only two eighty eight. So I took the balance that was left over from the other um purchase that I made and tacked a little extra on out of my own money to be able to get a second bag. And thank you for the person who sent me, I want to say she sent maybe $15, $20. And she said, this is an advancement on the next bag. That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of support I'm talking about. Because one thing y'all know, auntie like to step. Auntie like to get fly. And before I end, Crystal, thank you so much at Tresbella. Crystal at Tresbella. Um, that is who is doing my hair right now. And this is Auntie's hair. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I am wearing my own hair. I, it didn't grow out. So I'm wearing it. It's cool right now. So I don't have to worry about it sweating. But girl, Crystal, girl, you, you got Auntie. You got me together, girl. Go over there and talk to Crystal at uh, Tres, Tres Bella. 
I will be going next week to get a little more color because y'all know I like my blonde hair. This is cute, but I, I like my color. All right. Um, you all be blessed. Y'all see the cash app. Y'all see the website. Blessings on blessings. That's what I'm talking about this year. Less nagging, more gagging, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. Like, if it, we doing marriage this year. We getting y'all bitches married. We making sure y'all are going to be the best wives. Y'all going to y'all gonna have fulfilling lives, fulfilling marriages. Y'all are going to live your life to the best of its ability. And trust me, I know marriage is not for everybody. Everybody don't want it. I get it. I, I completely understand. And if you don't want it and you just want to be able to slob on a dick when you feel like it, we're going to make sure you're the best at that too. All right. You all be blessed. You all be safe.